hello everyone welcome back to my channel again this is Raz so in this video I'm going to describe the uh, similarities and differences between SPSS and PSPP so many of you ask the question about uh, how PSPP is different from SPSS because I made a previous video on how to do data analysis using PSPP so in this video I'm going to describe um, the key features in SPSS and PSPP and how they differ against each other and what are the similarities, what are the differences, what are the advantages of using PSPP over SPSS and what are the advantages of using SPSS over PSPP, okay? So let me show the key differences. So here I'll be talking about the price, I'll be talking about the data entry support, similarly I'll, I'll be talking about the syntax and I'll be talking about the drop-down menus for data analysis, whether it supports the multiple operating system, uh, and uh, how many data analysis features uh, do they have the size and support in multiple operating uh, sorry um, the operating speed of the software similarly graphical user interface and the output management okay so I'll be going uh, through them one by one so first of all let's talk about the price okay so SPSS uh, is not a free software but PSPP is a free software so you can download PSPP directly without paying any money but to to use SPSS uh, you have to pay money you can use SPSS for free for a limited period of time for a trial period maybe one week or two week by registering in the website but after that you have to pay okay then so, another feature is supporting the direct data entry both the software support the direct data entry so let me open the software okay so here is PSPP so PSPP in, in this software you can you can see the variable view and the data view two menus so in variable view you can set the variable names let's say serial number and gender and let's say smoking okay okay smoking so in the same way maybe uh, if you have used SPSS before so it's the same like uh, using SPSS so you set the variable names and then you can write the labels over here so gender you know the type is uh, string okay and the smoking the type variable type is string you double click on that and then you can change it similarly the value labels for gender when you double click then value one let's say is for male add two for female and click on okay for smoking so value one for yes add value two for no add and click on okay so when you go to data view you see the variables okay so zero one two three four Okay, and for gender, if it's male, let's say one, female two, one, one. Similarly, for smoking, uh, if the person is a smoker, one. Here you go. So you completed entering the data. So when you want to see the uh, the corresponding names, you can just click on this one. Okay. Yes, no, yes, no. When you click again, then you can see the numbers. So this you can see that the graphical user interface GUI is not that good as compared to SPSS, but still it works. Okay. So for example, now you enter the data. You want to do the analysis by going to analyze and discrete statistics. And then frequency for gender okay so let's say you want to calculate the frequency for gender and click on ok and then you can go to the output view here you can see okay male 75 percent and female 25 percent so the same like SPSS for example in SPSS in variable view I make a variable let's say serial number and then gender then it's mocking okay so let's say I want to specify the variable type 
to string and you specify the variable type to string see that so in values let's say one is male add two is female add and then click on ok in the same way for smoking let's say one is yes add and two is no and add and then click on ok now you go to data view you can see the same pattern or same format in the same way here you see so one two three four male female male male yes no yes yes so let me enter the same data okay so we are doing side by side comparison one two three four so it was male female male male so one two one one smoking one two one 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 two one one okay so analyze and then descriptive statistics and then frequency and then gender and then click on ok you can see the output male is 75 percent and then female is 25 percent same like in PSPP you can see the output <coughs> sorry male 75 percent and female same okay so when you are using SPSS when you're familiar with the SPSS then you can use PSPP very very easily okay similar so both of them support direct data entry and support syntax yes both of them support the syntax for example if you go to PSPP for example you want to analyze the data going to frequency and then here instead of clicking on OK if you click on paste so you can see the syntax editor window is similar to SPSS you can select that syntax and click on run click on selection when you go to output you can see that output being generated right so in SPSS as well you go to analyze you go to descriptive statistics you go to frequencies and then there is gender already so when you click on paste you see the syntax editor window okay so you can select that one and then click on run or you can even go to run and then click on run selection the same way so you can see the output being generated so both of them support the syntax support the multiple operating system yes so you can install this in Mac and then Windows and even other software other operating system data analysis feature you can see that SPC has more data analysis features compared to PSPP okay so if you see PSPP so analyze so you, you see the drop-down menu doesn't have too many data analysis features but it has the basic ones for example in descriptive you have frequencies explore cross tabs in comparison of mean you have the one sample t-test independent sample t-test pair sample ANOVA univariate bivariate correlation and then some of uh, more okay so in regression you have linear and binary logistic in non-parametric tests you have some of the tests and also ROSI curve and in the graphs you can plot the scatter plot and then histogram and then bar chart in transform you can do compute and then you can also do record into same variable record into different variable same like SPSS okay in data you, you can sort the cases you can select cases you can split file you can weight cases Similarly, uh, in SPSS as well, you can see in Analyze you have more options. Okay, this is the beauty of SPSS, but you have to pay money to get these features. But in PSPP, you see the most commonly used features. Okay, less but almost enough for an average researcher. Size of the software, obvious. SPSS is very large sized software. You you need uh, large amount of disk storage but in PSPP it doesn't require more disk storage the operating speed of SPSS is uh, slow in old computers but PSPP is fast okay so GUI graphical user interface that I already showed you SPSS is better it looks better okay the the menu and then the color everything it looks better but in PSPP it's very classical old-fashioned because it's small sized and uh, so you, you you don't get much of the 
good graphics in PSPP but again it, it works okay uh, so you just need to be familiar uh, with the old graphics so it may be a little bit tedious for you to click from one place to another but once you become familiar with the platform PSPP does a very good job okay so another is uh, output management so it's one of the key features okay so SPS is is a winner here uh, because it has better compatibility with the MS Office. You can directly copy and paste the output from SPSS to MS Office. But in PSPP, you need to do it in an indirect way. Okay, for example, let's copy the output here. For example, if you want to copy this in MS Actual, you can just right click and then click on this copy. And there are even other features like copy special style output and many other features so let's copy this okay and then let's paste it in excel so here you can paste as the plain text okay you see just copy and paste but if you want to copy the output from PSPP to excel and then here it's, it's a little bit okay from here from edit you can click and copy okay and then go to Excel okay, let me go here again output edit select all okay let's select then edit copy so paste so paste special Let's paste as the text so you can see the output is a little bit distorted okay so you have to manually manage them but if you want the output to be copied in the exact same way that uh, that you did in SPSS then you have to export this output okay you have to export this output and the technique is you have to go to file and then click on export so this is a little bit tricky so when you click on that export and then from the file extension you choose CSV or comma separated values okay CSV and then let's save in some place okay let's save in um, let's say pictures okay let's save in pictures or maybe music okay music so it's output dot CSV and then click on save so now when you go to music so you, you can see this file output and when you double double click that file when you open that file you can see that okay this output is opened so mail frequency percent the same way as in SPSS okay the same way as in SPSS so you have male female and then total the tables but you have to export that file in the CSV format okay so that is the main difference between SPSS and PSPP so the output management is a little bit tedious in PSPP but once you're familiar with it you can easily do it okay so guys uh, what's your view on these two software so uh, would you prefer the free software over a paid software or would you prefer the quality and uh, the graphical interface or more advanced statistical feature so it depends on on that criteria okay so uh, leave your comment below uh, which software would you prefer so if you like to try PSPP and try some of the data analysis features please check my previous video on PSPP so I have shown the demonstration on how to do data analysis using PSPP so if you like this video please um, click the thumbs up button and then also please share it with your colleagues uh, leave your comments below and also subscribe to this channel and please tell your colleagues also to subscribe to this channel so your motivation uh, means a lot of me uh, and then I'll try making uh, useful videos in the future as well thank you bye bye cheers